How's it going guys? Well today we got a 2008 Chevy Impala and the low beam headlight is not working properly. So um, just one thing I want to let you know when you're doing diagnostics or you're looking for a problem on your car, a lot of times it's just a little something simple here. So what we have here is that what I did was, and I checked over it, first thing I did was I went ahead and I took a loose the headlight assembly here, which it's only uh, one screw if you could see it. It's one little seven millimeter screw right here. And all you do is look here and you basically just pull this thing up here and it slides up and out like that down in here. And the whole headlight assembly comes out. So what I did was I went ahead and looked down there and make sure all the connections were connected down in here. Well, what it was is that right in here in this box, in the fuse box here, you've got your, your high beam for your, your low beam for your right side, low beam, or low beam for your left side, I'm sorry, and your low beam for your right side. So I went ahead and checked these after I checked all the connections and found out that it was just the fuse that was blown here. So what I did was went ahead and changed the fuse out and the low beam light is back working. So I just wanted to make this video real quick just to show you guys how simple a lot of times that something, you know, a lot of times people see something and they're like, oh, well this, and what I had, it really happened, um, I changed, they changed the bulb in it and it still wasn't working. So. That's the reason why they brought it to me to have it looked at. And like I said, it was just something simple as this fuse right here, a 10 amp small mini fuse, and that's the only problem. So I just wanted to make the video to, you know, let you guys know that a lot of times, you know, it's just something real simple on these cars that, you know, is a problem. So I went on ahead and put them two good looking assemblies in there, but there was no need it was just the fuse and um basically fuse looks like this here and as you can see in the middle right there it's popped and broken so you can see it now a little clearer so you see that fuse is broken right there so go ahead and change that and you know see if it's working again and if not we'll have other videos up all right guys thanks for watching just wanted to give you a diagnostic tip Thanks.